Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Santa Anita Park in Southern California on Thursday, October the 13th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Race of the Day. Let's take a look at Race 7 this afternoon, folks, 4.07 p.m. Pacific Post Time, 8.5 furlong route test on the dirt, 3 year olds and up race for an allowance purse of $48,000. Contenders number 1, Lodi Red, number 4, Bluegrass Reward, Number two, Star Spangled Heat, and number six, Memphis Mobster. Number one, Lodi Red has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in three of those outings. The morning line favorite, number four, Bluegrass Reward, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last. Five goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of Joe Talamo and Mike Mitchell in his corner. They fit the board with 51% of their entry saddles, the team to date. I also note that Mitchell is adding blinkers on his steed for the first time this afternoon. It's noted on numerous occasions in the past, the subtle equipment change often reduces noticeable speed boosts in their first applications. Race 7 summary, number 1, Lodi Red, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 4, Bluegrass Reward, number 2, Star Spangled Heat, and number 6, Memphis Mobster, 1426 in the 7th from Santa Anita. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race 8, the 15 to 1 bomb, number 1, Copo Cabana, drops in class by 4 units, nice overall speed for this short 4.5 furlong sprint. Hawthorne race course, race four, number two, Jimmy got even, nine to two in the morning line, takes a class drop of six units, good speed for this six for a long sprint. So from Santa Anita on a Thursday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.